Hey YouTube. Um, trying to think of what's happened since the last time we spoke. Um, lots of things have happened actually. Um, got new tats, my roses, um, one for my grandfather and one for my auntie. My auntie passed away in 99. Um, liver disease I believe um, due to a weakened immune system caused by AIDS um, my grandfather he passed away the year was that 2012 I think 2012 it was either 2011 or 2012 I think it was 2012 um, and he had um, prostate cancer um, it probably could have been treated to go into remission but he knew about it a year before we did and he didn't take his medicine or do any of his treatments so by the time he decided to do his treatments and go to the doctor it had spread everywhere um it had gotten into his bones and everything in his lungs and it just they couldn't do anything it was too far gone so yeah that's that's what the roses symbolize they're purple you can't really tell uh, because of this camera this camera's never really been too good about um defining color or whatever um if you go to my Facebook or my Instagram, you'll see pictures of it. I really don't feel like doctoring up this video. My videos are already too long and I don't feel like... It's not that I don't have the time. I just don't feel like dealing with it. Um, so I'm registered for classes. I went to orientation. Everything went well. I uh, got my little laker id card and everything and i got a tour of the campus not that i really needed it you know because i we've been going to that campus for years but they have added some more buildings and stuff so it's nice to know that although the campus is very big it's nice to know that most of the classes are all in the same general area so that's a good thing um, I know my hair looks a hot freaking mess. I just took my braids down uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. It was either yesterday or Saturday. I'm not 100% sure on which day it was, but I just took them down, washed my hair, uh, oiled my scalp, deep conditioned, hot oil treatment. That works. I was pissed because yesterday after I go through all this trouble of washing my hair and moisturizing it and everything and I finally feel like I mastered it and got it down to a good place it was so hot and humid yesterday that I went out and I was gone maybe you know two or three hours and in that time the heat and the sun just dried me all the way out so I'm in the process of finger locking interlocking with my fingers however you want to say it um, I'm in the process of finger locking my roots and everything because my roots are just <laughs> they getting crazy um, and I'm oiling my scalp as I go along and I think I'm gonna put spritz my hair down with some water so that I can dampen it before I go to bed and um, put some leave-in conditioner on there and see if we can put some of that moisture back into it I've decided that I really have to start taking my hair seriously um, if I want to keep my locks which I do um, I love them the dude that I'm talking to loves them it, not, it doesn't really matter if he loves them or not I love them but I just that, that that's all the more motivation for me to take better care of them because it's like Let me see how I can put this. For my adults, this is not this is not a, a child 
version of, of, of my video or of our conversations. This is an adult conversation. And I'm not saying a kid wouldn't understand, but if you're immature and if you're under the age of, I'm going to say, 15, you probably really wouldn't understand. But to my adults, you know how you have that one person in life It's very, very, very rare. That one person in life where y'all can talk about anything they put up with all of your bullshit all of your fucked up attitudes and your bad moods and stuff like that y'all have no secrets between each other y'all are 100% honest um, and y'all just have this bond y'all get each other even when you fight you can still laugh and cut up with each other and know that Tomorrow everything is still gonna be kosher. Even though y'all just got into this this heated ass debate about whatever, you know that everything's gonna be kosher before the night is done. Yeah, that's how me and him are. Like it doesn't matter what we get into it about. We don't really get into it a whole whole lot. Like we laugh more than anything. Like and it's it's a really good feeling. It's a really, really good feeling. He's super supportive, super understanding. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's awesome. He listens, and I y'all know me. I talk. I can talk. As long as you'll let me talk, I can talk. So it, it gets me that he listens to everything that I say, and he actually remembers it. And I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> Do you hear everything that I say and remember it? And I'm talking about like, you know, something that I might have said a month and a half, two months ago. This nigga remembers it. I'm like, really, dude? Really? So I feel shitty because, of course, he'll tell me something. And five minutes after he tells me, I don't even remember what he said five minutes ago. I'm working on that, though. I'm working on that. Anyways, um... So yeah, that's that's the good stuff that's been happening. Um, things are a little rocky with work, and but it is what it is. Everything's gonna be okay. I know it is because I I have faith. I have faith, and God has never never let me down so why would he start now so that's another thing like dude I didn't believe as much as I do now you know and it's like when I'm having a bad day or when I'm feeling really fucked up about something I'll talk to him and he's like well just pray about it and you know let God handle it and I'm like at first I'm like yeah okay whatever but then I'm thinking about it and then I'm thinking about everything that me and my family have gone through over the course of these years and I'm remembering that it wasn't because of me. It wasn't because of, oh, I got lucky and things just happened to work out this way. It's not that I didn't have faith. It's just sometimes we become so dependent on ourselves that we forget and we get so wrapped up in doing things ourselves that we forget that it's God that makes all things possible. So, you know, instead of putting that faith in Him and that belief in Him, sometimes we'll get self-centered and we'll get a little cocky and we'll put that faith and belief in ourselves. Which I've, I've done several times, actually. But it's like since I've been home, and especially since I've been talking to Him, I, I pray more. We pay, we pray every morning as a family. Um, I try to remember to pray before I go to bed, but sometimes I'm just exhausted and I can't. I don't even remember to eat sometimes before I go to bed. Um, but my faith and my belief is a lot stronger now, and I feel I feel much better about life in general. 
something weird. Yo, you guys know that I'm bipolar and I'm on medication for it. I think I, I don't think I've taken my medicine in like four days. And this started this started I wanna say last week or a week and a half ago. Uh, I went like three days without taking my medicine. But I felt great. All three days I felt great. Usually my sign is I'll start feeling really crappy. And that's what will let me know, okay, maybe you haven't taken your medicine. And then I'll check and I'm like, oh, I haven't taken my medicine. That's why I feel so bad. But if I'm feeling great, then that little red flag will never go off in my head because I'll never think I didn't take my medicine because I don't feel bad. I haven't taken my medicine in, like I said, like three or four days, you know, and I feel good. So considering the fact that I only have a supply of like two or three months and I don't have insurance and I don't have um, a doctor here, I haven't done all of my research. I'm sure there are resources out there for me, but there's, there's a lot going on right now. And to be honest with you, that is the least of my worries. Um, but because I'm running low on refills, I figured, you know, instead of me taking it every day with a 30 day supply, maybe I can stretch it every three or four days or every two or three days or something like that. Haven't really crunched the numbers, but for my mathematicians, you know how long that supply will last, you know, if I stretch it two and three and four days. Um, still taking my birth control I'm going to stop taking that I only have like 3 or 4 months left on my birth control I'm going to stop taking that because I took a minute and I actually read the possible side effects from it like I can get a blood clot in my leg and it can go up to my lung and it cause permanent damage it's like dude really we're safe about what we do anyway so it's like I'd rather just take my chances on getting pregnant than to risk getting a blood clot in my lung and dying or having a heart attack or a stroke and possibly dying or being paralyzed for the rest of my life because of a little bit ass pill all to try to prevent myself from getting pregnant versus if I was using condoms I wouldn't even have to worry about that you see what I'm saying like to me that just that's that's like 10 times worse than getting pregnant is like this is not even that serious so I'm going to try to make it through my last three or four months and try not to freak myself out about it too much because I don't want to just stop taking it cold turkey because I know once I stop, my cycle won't be regular anymore. So, anyways, plus I had to talk to my partner about it and he's cool with it. He says, it's your body, so whatever. And like I said, we're really safe about it, so it, it doesn't matter, you know. We use condoms religiously. <laughs> Like, I went out and bought the biggest box that I could find. So, yeah, I might be a little bit of a sex addict. But you know what? I've accepted that, and I'm okay with that. And he's okay with that. So, fuck what everybody else think. <laughs> Anyways, um, this video is, as usual, it's way, way too long. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys for hearing me out. Um... I know it's been a minute. I'll probably making I'll probably be making more videos um, at least until school starts. Until yeah, until school starts. Um, and I might come back later with a really really short quick video to show you how the interlocking went. And because like I said, I'm dry. I'm dry as fuck right now. And uh, but they've grown they've grown I might come back and do another video and do like a length check and show you what I'm looking like after I do a shape up and you know all that good jazz you know all, once I look fresh to death fresh to death it's okay though I like my rough look anywho uh, I'm not gonna say it because y'all already know what time it is I will see you guys in the next video I hope everybody is doing well if not I will be praying for you um, struggle don't last forever just keep the faith keep pushing keep striving and never give up never surrender I love you guys bye YouTube